so um, we have kind of a, just one question on this, looking at this revenue. We have like a unique mm -hmm. situation where you don't actually pay for it. Like you could, it could be like a month out and you don't pay for it. We usually have a lot of changes that take place um, that take place like in between the actual checkout time and then when it actually is paid for. So it's like, should we be tracking updates or is that just, or, or are we just tracking this funnel through? All right, you're asking a super smart question and it's a kind of a complicated answer on, on how to track it. Yeah, we need to track the updates. We need to see if if people are updating or not updating, we need to see if it's causing abandonment or different issues. So we do need to see that. And then that, that kind of creates a problem in e-commerce because if abandonment's normal, then then that what that means is, is you should have a high bounce rate or a higher bounce rate's acceptable or a, abandonment is normal, so that's acceptable, right? In some situations, abandonment's not normal or should not be happening. Okay. The other problem is what you're going to have is what's called sessions um, or session data. So it, what it sounds like is you might have multiple sessions before the checkout is completed. Um, yes. But the um, goal here with the online marketing is to drive clicks and get sales. So that's what we need to track. We need to track if the sales occurring and if you're receiving revenue what what will probably happen, Leanne, is some of the times you'll get transactions and you'll have no revenue. Yeah. What, what that means is is people are trying to buy, but they don't complete the revenue. So you you got a sale, but it didn't actually count. And so we need yeah. to fix that or solve that's, that problem. That's okay, but but for now we're just focusing on the funnel and making sure people are at least getting to like a commitment. Um, 